snow and i think she's seven or eight months now and we are a pretty huh okay i'm a motswana from botswana youtuber honey <laughs> i'm serious so okay okay so this is how i look guys i want to get rid of this mummy pooch let me get on the side so that you can see this mummy pooch welcome to my channel for those who don't know me i'm your girl and welcome 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 for those who are my new subscribers thank you so much i appreciate you a lot and those who are watching my videos and not subscribing you know what to do please 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 subscribe so before we do a little sit down um, or a little chit chat. I want you to introduce you guys to my dogs because you guys know that I have three dogs. But uh uh, we got a new dog. Guys, meet Snow. Snow makes little cute noises when you carry it and touch it. Listen. Um, he's a little pinkiness. Um, he's still a puppy. I know he she looks big. She's female. Um, her name is Snow. And I think she's seven or eight months now. And we are a pretty, huh? Okay. <laughs> okay, before we were disturbed. Um, yeah, I wanted to introduce you guys to Snow. We're going to make this next. So this is Fluffy. Fluffy is... I think Fluffy is almost the same age as Snow. Fluffy is a, she's a little feisty one, but at the same, at the same time, she's shy. And you see how she's doing. She doesn't even want to look at the camera, guys. Um, this is Fluffy. She's too hairy. She needs a bath. She's so dirty. <laughs> she needs a bath and a haircut, guys. Um, yeah, this is our dog number two. Hi. This is our little boy Smetch. Um, he's less than two months. I think he's eight weeks now, seven weeks. You're not even two months, but he's huge, guys. He's gonna be a big boy. This is one of our large breeds. I couldn't bring a monkey inside. Um, she's old. She's a Maltese she doesn't like it when we hold her she doesn't like to be cuddled she doesn't like to be touched at all but at least you can see our new little family member he's so cute hi smash hi boy say hello to my people yeah smash um smash is a he's a mixed breed I need to ask babe I'll, I'll write it down what he is i'll ask babe what breed he is but i know he's a mixed breed of something but he's gonna be big guys can you see smash though smash my smash smash that uh, match it a smash, a smash. Yes, welcome to my bedroom <laughs> i'm kidding did you guys miss me i missed you too thank you guys for those of us who have subscribed thank you guys so 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 much i appreciate you guys so much and those who don't know me my name is Mpentabolokwe, of course and i'm a botswana i'm a botswana from botswana youtuber honey <laughs> i'm serious so okay okay so i thought i should do something different today and do a little um sit down with you update 
you guys about my life and not just confuse you about my vlogs of what's really happening here you know i'll be talking about is about my weight loss journey because i promised you guys a weight loss journey sit down so i'm gonna be using another phone to read some notes that i've written down so that i don't miss out anything or i'm not all over the place so guys um let's talk about my weight loss journey let's start about my background so i grew up as a chubby baby ever since i've been myself i've been chubby and i haven't been a skinny girl i've always been the thick one in the group i've always been you will see for okay this this is the one go fresh you know nothing and no fresh you i was just one of that doesn't matter if i get sick as a baby i will still be chubby doesn't matter how the amount of stress that i have i'll be as skinny as a as a as a what i'll be as skinny as a i'll be as skinny as a i don't want to offend anybody i'll be as skinny as a as a toothpick okay that's <laughs> I don't know it is stress, but you know what we still gain weight you know so um i grew up as a chubby baby i've been an active child i wasn't a lazy child whatsoever i'll do activities at school i'll i'll join netball traditional dance agriculture name it whatever they threw at me i would do it Literally, I would do it because I've I've always been the child who wants to be everywhere. You know, I've always I was always I've always been a curious child. You know, so my curiosity took me there and there and there and there. I wasn't lazy. I wasn't laid back at all, and I wasn't just like that child who's just like so shy and everybody's like, "Are you ready to eat?" I was like, "I am hungry. Let's go and <laughs> eat." So, after growing up, I got into my teenage um, stages. That's where you realize um, I am fat. Okay, I'm not going to use the word fat because I'm going to offend myself and argue with myself. Um, I am chubby. And because you see other friends, um, you see your other friends being skinny, you know, they look good on their, on their uniforms and no 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 guy likes you the guy that you have a crush on likes the skinny one with the good hair you know and you're just that one that's nobody's interested in you know so that's where it started my weight loss journey started there and my mom would buy me what has a food for everyone literally i have tried anything and everything under the sun i've done what salama futa for everyone those drops that you put in the water i've tried the 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 the, the what is what what do you call it now it's famous have a life the moment it got into fashion not now now it's into fashion but it's not as much the moment they introduced have a life and when it was still reasonable okay i have a friend who sells have a life and i know he's, she's gonna watch this a friend I love you but I've tried it and maybe I wasn't doing it well maybe maybe you should sponsor me and sponsor <laughs> me maybe you should sponsor me and I will try it if it works I will promote it but I've tried it I've tried everything I went to gym by the time I got to tertiary my first year I joined gym with my student card because it was cheaper to use your student card. I joined gym. I did every diet in the book, like for your coffee and lemon, your your painting, your everything. But you know what? I can't say it doesn't work because what what really works is consistency. 
being consistent that's what's going to work for you and i never get to my goal because um i'll be consistent for like a week and then from the i spiral out i eat i drink i do whatever you know so i can't really say all these things don't work they work for people who are really consistent even what what i'm about to say to you what i'm doing now and that i believe in so much and i have seen results like seen results from people from myself it also um it also needs you to be consistent that's it the reason why i want to lose weight is because i want to look good on 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 clothes you know now i don't have the confidence that i want to have i have the i have confidence which is natural but i want my confidence to be skyrocket you know i want it to be pretty i want it to be complimented by something else you know when you're wearing your clothes and you don't feel good on them you end up shrinking your yourself because you feel like uh, you end up wearing these baggy clothes to hide the extra need. You end up putting a pillow here to hide the situation. <laughs> you end up hiding under under little things, you know. So I really I don't want to hide forever. I also want to be free. I want to remove this pillow. I don't, I don't want to wear like my extra large, extra, extra what hiding the things underneath, you know. So guys, um, one of the reasons why I really, really want to lose weight is because I want to um, build my confidence more up. I want to feel good and look good. And I want to also... Um, boost my health you know it's really important for for you to manage your weight so that health wise because we're growing up we're not growing any way younger you're growing up and while it's like that you need to be very cautious of what you eat you have to be cautious of what you're doing your lifestyle so it really i really want to improve my health and I also want to improve my energy. Now that I have two little active babies, my four-year-old daughter is very active, wants attention 24-7 when we're together. My son also is learning to, to walk and we're getting into that routine. They need a mommy who's not lazy, you know. And now I'm just honestly speaking. Let me tell you the truth. Come closer. I don't like doing things. I don't like labor. You know, I get the labor. And people call those people lazy, but but I don't think we're lazy. It's just that we don't like we don't like to suffer. So we rather we would rather go the simple route. So since I want to work on my energy, my health, I weigh Why is it so difficult for me to say? You feel like I get exposed. Ah, but it's fine. Okay, my current weight is 91 point... It's 91 point... I weighed myself. It's 91.6. Yeah, I think it's 91.6 or 91.8 kg. 91.6 kg day one let's go Ninety-one point seven. so this is how i look guys i want to get rid of this mummy pooch let me get on the side so that you can see this mummy pooch has to go, honey. You can see where it starts. It's huge. And let me go 
this way. You can see my back fat. I have some rows here, which we want to get rid of. And yeah, this is how. This is how. Njaji. Njaji, guys. <laughs> Because I think it's it's for you know it bound to happen. I don't know if I should tell you guys my goal weight or we should walk work towards the goal and then you will see it. But it wouldn't make sense because you guys wouldn't know what I'm working towards. Okay, my goal weight is 75 kgs. And let me tell you, the last time I weighed 75 kgs, I was in tertiary and at that time i thought i was chubby i thought i was overweight but i wasn't i want to go back to that time because nikki compare you know comparing yourself guys stop comparing yourself to other people's weight or body sizes and structures because it will kill you because when it comes to weight um, that 91 kg consists of a lot of things. It consists of water weight, body body weight, uh, muscle weight, um, your bone weight. It's a whole lot of things included in that 91.6 kg. When you are busy judging me, know that for your own information. It's not just fat. There's your fat weight there. There are so many things that make that 91 kg. So after my boy, I tried to lose weight. It wasn't working because you know when you still have pregnancy hormones in your system, nothing's gonna, it's not gonna happen. So let your body settle naturally. Naturally, don't fight with it. Don't try to. What you can do is eat healthy, for sure. That one, eat healthy. And what I can tell you is, it'll help you with the bloating of the pregnancy to bloat that to naturally you know but you need to help um your body to do that by eating healthy um big. so what is my weightless program okay guys what i'm doing i'm sure most of you guys you know what it is I am doing intimate fasting. fasting. It really helps with a whole lot of health situations. I don't know what it's called, but let me just research for you. Just a moment. Just a moment, honeys. Let mama research for you um, what is intimate fasting. What is the meaning of intermittent fasting? fasting something like that uh intermittent fasting means that you don't eat for a period of time each day or week some popular approaches to intimate fasting include alternate day fasting eat a normal diet one day and either completely fast or have one small meal less than 500 calories the next day yes guys intimate fasting meaning you don't eat um you don't eat for a certain period of time that you have put for yourself and there's a period of time a window that you're gonna eat and stop eating so during that fasting period you don't snack you don't you don't drink or eat anything that is gonna spike your insulin you understand so intimate fasting it has a um, different kinds of um, periods that you can choose from um, you can choose the 18 by 18 by 6 you can choose by 23 by 1 meaning you're gonna um, fast for 23 hours and eat in a window of an hour which is what i am doing <laughs> Oh, this one is hectic, guys. Yes, there's the 16 by 8. It's so many options that you can choose from that will that is that will benefit your lifestyle. You know, I'm doing what works for me, 
and what works for my lifestyle. But the weekend is that's where the problem is. That's where the problem is, guys. So yeah, I'm doing the Omad intimate fasting. Omad meaning one meal a day. I fast for 23 hours, and when I get home, I have my one meal, and that's it. I can have my meal and. Like today, I had a sweet, sweet, I think it's because I was having a hectic day at work and there were so many things happening outside of work as well, like personal things. So I was, I wanted candy. You know, we are emotional eaters. I'm an emotional eater and I am really, I stress eat. So when it's like that, I have a sweet tooth as well. So I was craving something sweet. I got dates. I called my mom. Honestly, I called my mom. And said, ah, I'm about to break this fast, and if I break it, I'm sure I'm gonna break it for something that's not healthy. And I want candy. I want candy so bad. Anything, chocolate. And she was like, "No, get dates. Um, they are very sweet and healthy. Um, Indians use them. Apparently, Indians use dates when they are on their fasting period." Like whenever they use it like for spiritual the fasting spiritual period. So they can have dates during that period and stuff like that. Okay, so I got I got to spa and got some dates and I saw, you know, you will just buy things because because you can <laughs> because you're in the shop. That's why I don't like getting into shops after work. So I got the dates and I got the um, the right the mini rice cake um, snacks they have like a chocolate coating which is gluten free so I was like it's just gluten free anything that's gluten free is not bad I'm just consoling myself guys I'll show you let me just show you let me show you guys what I'm talking about before we continue because I know I'm gonna forget to show you the stuff I'm coming Mm. okay guys let me show you what i got i've already had three of these they are called the mini rice cakes with milk chocolate um yeah, you'll you just read on them. It's wheat-free, gluten-free. I think they're healthy. So I tried to look this side, like the, the amount of calories and stuff. So I had this because I, I was really craving chocolate, guys. Really, really, really craving chocolate. And I also didn't want to feel bad for eating something that's unhealthy. Though I could eat anything, the nice thing about intimate fasting, guys, you can eat anything that you want on your um, eating window. You are still going to lose weight, but the weight that you're going to lose, it's not going to be as much as when you are eating your healthy food. Because when you are eating that, it's probably like 700 calories, which is still low, you know. So it's not really bad. It's just that, but when you eat healthy, um, it pushes you more no so let me show you guys this is the spa brand i've already had this these are the mini rice can you see that they're not bad and they're not too sweet as, as well but they'll fulfill you i've had like did i have two or three and then i got these pita dates um they're high in energy high in what oh okay no trans fat free free from fat free from sodium all of this has to do with the rich but la mommy body sodium all body fat we don't want those kinds okay these are the ones that i got from spa as well they were very much reasonable i was so surprised i think they were less than 20 pula like 18 bucks when you feel like eating sugary stuff you can have this i had three of this three of this 
and I had two of this. Okay, I'm gonna try and be comfy for you guys. So, let me search how many calories are on a on a pitted bait. How many calories on one bait? Twenty three calories, guys. It's twenty three. So twenty three times three is under a hundred. That's my snack. So you see why it's important to have healthy snacks, guys. It's really, really important to have healthy snacks. So some of you will ask, okay, what do you drink during your fasting period? Water. Water is going to be your friend, guys. Water. This is, I think it's two liters. Or a little more than two liters. Water is going to be your friend. Water is going to be your friend. And you are forced to be a best friend. Best friends with this thing. Get yourself a cute little bottle. Reasons why I got myself this cute little bottle that everybody has. Um, it's because I needed uh, motivation to drink water, you know. And yeah, it really helps me to drink. This is the water from morning. I know today I did bad. I really did bad. I think it is because I was drinking also green tea. I also take green tea, but not every day because I don't like hot beverage just like that. But when I do, um, I would like my hot beverage to be nice. But because I can't put sugar, I can't put anything. Because um, the moment I put sugar, I'm spiking my insulin, my fasting stops right there. So... water or your green tea plain no honey no sugar no lemon don't spike it with anything don't try to make it nice i know green tea is not nice i've spoken about it so many times i know green tea is not nice guys but it, it suppresses your your hunger once you feel like really really hungry or like my office office mates are eating I can have my green tea and I'll feel fulfilled. Like seriously, and the smell of food. Tell me I'm lying. Take green tea when you're hungry and tell me how you feel afterwards. You feel really full. You feel like okay, I'm I'm okay, I don't need food. But the moment you just listen to that hunger and start watching things on your phones, on the TV, like the mug bands and what and also getting my instagram <laughs> hey i'm following pages that you do you know how to make this especially oh they're always killing me i don't know if i should unfollow but how am i gonna get it back i'm gonna forget the name of the page so i can't do that so guys um sorry about that my phone switched off it was very low so yeah let's continue with our little chit chat um where were we okay let me tell you oh i was telling you guys that i am doing intimate fasting and i'm on the 23 one program meaning i fast for 23 hours and i have an hour eating window during my fasting hour i have my water and i have my green tea to tell you guys about the apps that I use for fasting, intimate fasting, I use the Fastic or the Simple apps. Those two are the ones that I go to most of the time because they are free. They have like the payment membership, but I use the, the free one because it, it literally tells me what I need. Let me show you the app. Okay, now I have the, the Simple app. Okay, let me show you guys this app. This is how it looks like. This is the app right here. Simple. It's purple. It has like around um, white stuff. It's written simple. It's so simple, like it is saying. Um, yeah. So guys, <sighs> Jesus. 
so guys i use the simple app and when it comes to when it comes to my calorie um calculator i use the i use the for my calorie for my calorie calculator i use my fitness pal guys my fitness pal is magic i used to like think why would people be counting their calories or like buying scales to measure their foods and all that my fitness pal will make things easy for you even the food that you eat like the junk food your nandos your watch your watch you can say um how many calories are in a nando's quarter chicken and tell me what it says and it's accurate i don't know how it knows but my fitness pal is i love it you can even type um how much calories are in um a medium potato it will give you like a full potato they'll say half put they'll give you like different kinds of calorie money uh, measurements i love it so much check my fitness pal guys i chose the 23 by 1 um, program is because i wanted to lose weight faster because i have two events that i'll be attending and i want to look good um i have my best friend's wedding and i have a girl's trip so those two events i'm forced to lose weight guys is gonna be the end of our little chit chat and i hope you like um my chit chitty i i talk a lot so i'm praying to god that i I can edit this video and make it as short as possible because it can be really tiring to watch somebody talk for hours and I can do that. <laughs> so guys, um, thank, thank you guys for watching my video. I appreciate you guys so much, my subscribers and my new subscribers. I love you guys and appreciate you please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't because i can see people are watching my videos and i don't understand why you're not subscribing because my views are more than my subscriptions why am i boring tell me what should i improve what do you want tell me what you want so that you can subscribe <laughs> don't forget to subscribe like comment and share to your friends my beautiful people bye see you next time guys <laughs>